All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Meta. Topic of the day, how do we send money from Coinbase over to Bybit? So I'm just going to break this down. I'm live right now. We're going to do a little live tutorial. Let's dive in. Let's get it. And of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial investor and I never advise you to invest in crypto in any way, shape or form. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're live here and we had a, one of my members asked, uh, how do I send over money from Coinbase over to Bybit? So I wanted to show you guys exactly how this is done. I want to do it live with you guys. That way you guys can get a little live TA and training. So let's dive in and get it. I only had $20 worth of Bitcoin over here on my balance. So I need to accumulate or buy EOS. That way, when I send EOS over to Bybit, the transaction fees are like a penny or a dollar. They're super cheap with EOS. And I think you can do it with XLM as well. But I always use EOS. I've always have. And there's probably cheaper ways or easier ways to do this. And you guys can do this however you want. I would buy more crypto right now. But on Coinbase, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure when you buy crypto, like when you add a fund from your bank, you have to wait X amount of days to actually transfer that money out of Coinbase. On the right-hand side, you'll be at your homepage. This will show you your whole portfolio. You're going to come over to your portfolio click on portfolio. Once you're actually on your portfolio, you're going to click up here, buy or sell, come over here to the convert tab, because I want to convert the Bitcoin into EOS. That way I can actually transfer it out. So I'm going to come over here. I have $18 and 41 cents. I'm going to convert Bitcoin to EOS. If you're going to deposit money, I don't suggest buying EOS because then you're going to sit in EOS for seven days or however long you're going to be sitting in EOS until the funds clear from your bank. So if I was ever to deposit money from my bank, I always just buy US dollar coin. That way, obviously I don't want to sit here. It's different in a bull run. When we're in a bull run, sure, I'll buy Bitcoin, I'll buy EOS, and then I'll wait seven days or however long it takes for me to actually send it out of my account. But just just to be safe, I just buy EOS. Or if you already have another crypto or you already have crypto on Coinbase, it's just that simple. You just convert it. So convert all. I'll have 4.86 EOS and I'll hit convert. Now I got to come up here in the right hand side. I'm going to click send receive choose EOS. When you're sending EOS, you need your deposit address and you need your memo. It's super important. Do not F this up, guys. The next thing I love about Bybit and it's so simple to remember, right? So your EOS address is always Bybit deposit. So when I get back over on Coinbase, it's just my Memo address to the address to is Bybit deposit. It's so simple. And why I like sending EOS because it's just a simple seven digit code, 251. 3367. So if anybody wants to ever give me tip or donate money, whatever, like it's super simple for them to just to, oh, address, buy bit, deposit. All they have to know is this seven digit code. It's like remembering your phone number, 251-3367. And I'm going to hit send all and hit continue. Network fee, Coinbase fee, 000, send now. And then I'm going to have to go through the, the two-step verification code. Not really sure if I should show this on here. So give me a second. So I just hit send. There you go. It was that literally that simple. So I it just sent seventeen dollars and uh, ninety six cents worth of EOS from Coinbase over to Bybit. That simple, guys. Let me just record this outro really quick, guys. I'll be right back. All right, squad. So that's a wrap on how to send money from Coinbase to Bybit. It's super simple. In my personal opinion, when you're trading on Coinbase versus on Bybit, every ten thousand dollars you trade on Coinbase you lose $200. If you just open and close the same trades that I take over on Bybit and you trade $10,000, you are at a $200 loss. So you do that five times, that's that's over $1,000. It's so hard when you're trading crypto to stay up and stay profitable when you only make one or 2% profit on a trade. So when you're giving away 1% to an exchange, it takes all the fun out of trading for me anyways, because especially when you're a beginner and you're entering and exiting bad trades and you're making bad decisions and you, you realize it after you enter it and you're like, all right, shoot, like the market conditions change. I want to get out of that trade. Well, if you're doing bigger trades, I mean, that's a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks that adds up. And either way you look at it, it's still 1%, 1%, 1%. That's just one of the number one reasons why I love Bybit so much. So hopefully this, you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Can't wait to see you guys in the lives. Love you. Peace. <laughs>